Hello everyone, how are you doing? And today, I'm going to talk to you guys about what's happening in the world of Google. So, if you guys didn't know, Google Chrome allows you to install you know, extensions, whether you're doing it via the Chrome Web Store or doing it from a third party website. Uh, whichever uh, you Googled the extension from, it's going to pop up. Well, now Google is going to start locking uh, extensions only through the Chrome Web Store and it's going to be available through uh, every part of Windows and it'll, it'll be coming to the Macs in July. reason Google is doing this is to prevent any more malicious attacks uh, that, that's going to impact the, the web browser from uh, letting you fulfilling your needs but basically it's preventing you from doing certain things and we all know how malicious software or malware viruses can do that to computer operating systems and web browsers are no exception it's the same thing I mean I've seen that happen before with Google Chrome before I've seen that happen recently with Firefox and anything can get infected which means it's going to affect your daily tasks of what you are doing on the computer whether you're just watching movies playing music or if you're doing a specific business tasks as well as uh, fulfilling your billing payments you know whatever you do uh, online is going to be affected uh, due to any kind of infection out there now uh, a lot of people uh, may see this uh, as a downside uh, for Google Chrome because everybody likes to in install extensions and from you know, wherever they can get in uh, if it was useful uh, but at the same time Google is considering thing or thinking about the security issues out there and any possible vulnerabilities. So therefore, that's why uh, companies are making choices like this. Now, uh, was there a way for Google to prevent these malicious attacks from coming uh, but still allow you to install third-party extensions? Uh, it, it can happen either way, but uh, at the same time, anything can be breached. Nothing is bulletproof. Uh, anything can, can still have uh, infections come in, but companies are trying to keep their products as secure as possible. Uh, you can't make it 100% secure, secure because that's not going to happen. It's going to be uh, hacked in a minute probably, or it may take uh, the hackers a little bit longer, but they'll be able to get around it. So uh, basically, you just try to keep your products as secure as possible and make sure it's, it is being monitored 24-7 you know, and if something is about to come in, stop it before it, it's too late. So that's basically you know, what Google is trying to do here you know, to protect uh, Chrome users from uh, experiencing any infections and any, uh, you know, uh, performance decrease because uh, infections can do that too. And like I said, I've seen it happen before. Uh, I mean, I've seen it on a machine where Google Chrome kept get, popping up so many ads and I didn't realize it until uh, at a certain point that it was a virus and it was infected. Therefore, I had to restore the machine and uh, do a recovery or uh, and reinstall the operating system. So, do you guys think that Google is making the right choice here to keep extensions locked down to uh, the Chrome Web Store? Uh, so that way there are no uh, uh, malicious uh, attacks coming in. Me personally, I can go off either side uh, because there are some useful extensions that you could uh, get from third party uh, websites versus uh, getting on the Chrome Web Store. But if they'll get into the Chrome Web Store, great. And you know, the same goes for Android or uh, anything that uh, has this kind of feature currently. Uh, just uh, make sure that the security uh, is as secured as it can be and prevent any uh, attacks and have 24-7 uh, monitoring processes uh, going. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, comment. Also check the description below for my social media links and check the article that I read about this. If you guys want more information about it, I will see you in the next one. Take care.